Hello friends, my name is Dr. Subramaniam and uh, I am going to conduct a class on product management. Now in today's session I am going to have or show a glimpse of product pricing and product promotion. Now what is product pricing and product promotion? So the first uh, slide I will tell you what are the four basic pricing strategies that a company adopts. The four basic strategies are premium pricing, skimming pricing, economy pricing and penetration pricing. Now we will understand one by one what it means. Premium pricing the word itself says premium means costly product. A very high standard products which is basically targeted or segmented for upper class people whose annual income will be more than uh, say 15 lakhs. Now when I say 15 lakhs that means the product should be from say 70,000 to may 30 lakhs or 40 lakhs. So this is the range of product that they will be buying. So when I have position my product for premium people my pricing also also will be uh, that high as you can see in the slide itself the first slide is of uh, the first photo is of apple apple the minimum costing is around 65000 to 70000 so when i am pricing this product i am leaving the middle class lower middle class and poor class people and I want that they should not buy my product or they are not comfortable buying the product. So I am targeting to the premium people. Then you see L'Oreal hair dye. It's costing around 580 rupees. So when I talk about 580, Garnier is 180, so acceptable for middle class people. So they will not go for L'Oreal. How good packaging you are doing, how good packing is doing, uh, who are your models. That is immaterial for middle class people. They first see the affordability. And when I talk about L'Oreal, they will not be able to afford. Then the third picture is of Mercedes car or you can say BMW, a premium car. The minimum costing is 26 lakhs itself. And a middle class who, who pays the car price in EMI, easy monthly installment, it will be very difficult for him to offer. So, when I create this product, it is for the high society, rich people who can maintain that luxurious life. So, as, as, as a student, I have to understand what is premium pricing and what are the premium products. Then the second is skimming pricing. Now, skimming means I manufacture a beautiful car. And I thought it is much better than Mercedes. And that's that, that's my feeling as a, as, a, as a creator of the product. But students, the, the, the consumer may not understand this. That I have created and that's why I am pricing it very high. So this car which is shown in the picture, I launched at a premium cost of say 20 lakhs. Now in the initial one month or one quarter, I saw... And the demand for the product is less. The demand for the product less. So what I did, I reduced the price by 5%. So 20 lakhs, I came down, I minused 5%, that is around uh, 10,000 uh, and I reduced the price. Okay, so it was easy for me reducing 1 lakh rupees. But my premium brand comes down in price. So, if, 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 if you psychologically see 19 lakhs is lower than 20. So, people have a very bad impression of it. But what is happens that I am here for business. I am not here for charity. And whenever this happens, I have to reduce my price for business. I have to earn money. Then what I do, if still the demand is less, I reduce more 5%. But a price comes where I, I evaluate the cost-benefit analysis. 
and I find that lower I may not be able to come. So skimming can be to a certain extent wherein there is a break even. There is no loss for the businessman. No businessman uh, runs a business for charity purpose. He is there for profit. So skimming will be done to a certain extent wherein he will not be having any losses. So that is skimming twice. Then we come to the economic loss. Now students, everybody is a little perplexed why people run after Geo Mart or Big Bazaar or uh, big retail shops. The reason is that if you compare the, the, the normal retail shop and the uh, big, big uh, malls, the rates are different. If, if, if sugar is costing 40 rupees in Kirana Banda, it may cost around 38, uh, 36 rupees or 35 rupees in the mall. So for this benefit of 5-6 rupees, they run after this uh, big bazaar or Jumar. Now, obviously, people don't understand how they can afford such a lower price. So for example, if a Kirana Banda is purchasing sugar, he will purchase maximum 100 kilos. So he will get at a rate of say 38 and he will sell at 40. But for a mall, they purchase around 1 lakh kilo or 50,000 kilo and they get a price of 25 or 26 and they can sell at 30, 35, 34, 33 depending upon the demand, depending upon the crowd, the customer, number of customers coming daily. So, and secondly, the students, these big malls have the arrangement of warehouse. They have a warehouse wherein they can keep this stock. Their stock then doesn't get damaged. But the Kirana Bandar has to think ki, uh, their stock will remain intact or not, or not get damaged. So, economy pricing is the price which is given by big, big retail shops rather than uh, comparing, with, comparing it with the uh, Kirana Bhanda. Then we come to the last part of uh, pricing that is penetration pricing. The penetration word itself means that I have to enter the market somehow. For example, there are already Colgate, there is already Pepsodil. Now, Colgate is costing, for example, say 90 rupees for a 200 gram pack and Pepsodent around 85. And if as a launcher of the paste, I have to enter or enter these people or counter these people, I have to have a price where I can, I, I will not have a loss. And secondly, I will not be as costly as this because I will not be able to penetrate. So it will be around 84, 80, 84. The pricing so that when I launch people will get attracted for the price for a little bit then the, my packing then my package how I am presenting my product once I enter the market I have penetrated the market I can uh, change the pricing to the competitors the number one company or number two company who are already established until that I have to give a penetration pricing so, the four pricing, one is premium pricing, one is skimming pricing, third is economy pricing, and fourth is penetration pricing. Further, we will discuss something about product promotion, how to promote a product. The five common types are advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, public relation, and direct selling or direct marketing. Now, what is a product promotion? First of all, product promotion can be through word of mouth, can be through an announcement. For example, one of your friends went to see a movie and he liked the movie. He came back home and said, Sir, you also see that movie. It's wonderful. Yeah, there's a lot of action, good songs. You should def definitely see. Now, on his statement, I go and watch the movie. This is word of mouth. Then on, on newspaper you can see an announcement that today 
a film is being released, the first show is at 12.30, all are welcome. You go and watch the movie. Announcement has been made and that's how the product promotion is done. Now the first type of product promotion is advertisement. See, in advertisement, the primary importance is the slogan. Like in Horlicks, you can see, taller, stronger, and sharper. So if a child drinks milk with Horlicks, he is going to be taller, he is going to be stronger, and he is going to be sharper. This is the meaning of that. When I am having a McDonald's, I am loving it. That means, that statement itself says that I love this McDonald's. This is how promotion is done. This is how advertisement is done. Where the, the color, the color, color combination that attracts the customers. Then, how to sell a product? Selling is one, one more aspect of product promotion. So, you offer discount. Buy one, get one free. Up to 75% off. The moment you see 75% off, you imagine that I have to pay only two and a half rupees out of ten. And in that process, students, the consumer forget that the actual pricing of that product is three only. And he is giving 50 paisa discount only. But he is showing that the MRP is ten and I am giving you a two, two and a half. So this is how you promote, you attract customers to your shop. And once they come in, you grab them. Buy one, get one free. Recently I went to a Rinsha ice cream parlor and they said, if you buy one, it is 140. But actually the MRP in that box it is 280. But if you buy two, it is 280. That means for a 560 product, I am paying 280. So 50% discount, I am happy. I enjoy the ice cream since I have got a 50% discount. Then, how you create public relation? Like for instance, as in the picture Akshay Kumar, he comes to your house, he cleans your bathroom with Harpic bathroom cleaner and says, don't clean your bathroom with uh, detergent powder, otherwise your bathroom will be dirty. You get attracted and obviously you buy Harpic. So, this is how they create a public relation with a demonstration of the product. Secondly, the picture Ariel also, two big chefs of this country, they come together and they show that their apron is dirty with masala and all those things. One, he puts in a washing machine Ariel powder, the second person puts a, another brand and Sanjeev Kapoor shows that my apron is clean. And he connects with the public. He connects with the public and make sure that they buy Ariel. Because I am using it, my apron is whiter than others. So that's how you create a public relation. Connect with them. Touch their heart. Obviously, you will win. Then, direct. Amway, Vesti, very classic example. They go directly to the consumer, show their product, demonstrate their product and sell it. No in-between uh, distributor or retailer is required. The company directly reaches you with their products. That's how you do the various promotion activities. So, thanks for participating in this session. We will continue our session on product management. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.